What is up everybody? So the other day I made a video about another trailer that was on the Avery Selvage Yard. A blue trailer that was once located close to where Barb lived. Now the trailer came up in an interview that Kathleen Zellner did with Stephen Avery which can be found in John Farrick's book the re-release, the fifth anniversary edition of Wrecking Crew Demolishing the Case Against Stephen Avery, which you can pick up on Amazon. It has new interviews with Stephen Avery and Kathleen Zellner. Now, there wasn't a lot of information out there about this particular trailer, but there was a lot of people suspecting that possibly the crime took place in that trailer. Uh, because of the no DNA, no nothing being found in Stephen Avery's trailer. So I put that question out there to the people that have all kinds of information on the case against Stephen Avery and Brendan Dassey. And I got a response from a lot of people that are connected very close to this case, including Earl Avery. And I will put his response at the end of this video. And now, one of the people that responded is presumed guilty. Give them a follow over on X. They are a fountain of knowledge when it comes to the case against Stephen Avery and Brendan Dassey. The amount of information, the amount of knowledge this person has on this case is unreal, and it seems that they have it at their fingertips. You ask them a question, they can get you the answer very quickly. And this is what presumed guilty had to say about this trailer. This blue abandoned, potentially destroyed trailer raises significant questions in my opinion. The state's theory involved the crime taking place in a trailer and garage on the Avery property, but they did not test this abandoned trailer uh, or Bobby's bloody garage despite naming him a suspect. Bobby's vehicle is also alleged to have been destroyed. Now they're, they're talking about Bobby's blazer and difficult for LE to claim it wasn't when photos slash swabs of the vehicle were never taken, despite his claim of using it to transport a dead and bloodied animal. As Kathleen Zellner said early on, we can also draw some negative inferences from what they did not do, and they did not rule out Bobby as a suspect, not even close. Also, take note that between this abandoned blue trailer and the Dassey residence, there was a black van or SUV at one time was cornered off with tape that was soon to be removed with no police reports I've seen disclosing and any findings in the vehicle, nor are there any photos. And the IIRC, the plate taken off the RAV were found closer to the Dassey trailer in yet another abandoned vehicle than to Stevens' trailer. Evidence early on, including phone calls, witnesses, inconsistent statements, cadaver dogs, and untested bloody scenes were motivating police to examine Bobby's activities on Halloween slash with a deer on 11-4, but after 11-7, Cuss Road burial site, all that changed and evidence began popping up near or inside Stephen's trailer, and Bobby quickly became a central witness for the state in their quest to convict Stephen on a obviously false narrative. Now, like I said, this person has so much information on the case. Uh, give them a follow on X slash Twitter. You will not be disappointed. So this next one is from Kim. Now, Kim, I believe, is one of the admins on the Stephen Avery Is Innocent Facebook group, a group that is run by people, I believe including Kim, who has a direct link to Stephen Avery, who is very close to the information in this case and also knows a ton about it. So give go join the Stephen Avery Is Innocent Facebook group. Uh, there are a ton of great people that run that group that have a ton of information as well. There are so many helpful people. This is what Kim had to say. There is no overhead shots taken of the blue trailer that Carla and her family passed off as damaged, but the actual reason is the man who owned it had a deck soldered on top that wasn't damaged, so that wasn't the case. The only trailer with damage on top was Rolly Johnson's, and there was no title to that trailer. 
Alan Avery gave that trailer to Steven to live in, but Steven and Jody ended up in Rolly Johnson's. That blue trailer that Steven was going to use for storage after Jody removed her personal belongings. And it should be noted that all of the bedrooms were completely vacant and the blue trailer was kept unlocked and the whole family knew this, including the Dassey boys. I was told that it had a hole in the roof, which it didn't have, that it was rotten, which it wasn't. You know they tell so many lies. Steven asked me to ask why they destroyed something that didn't belong to them. He was going to use it for storage. There is no reason given for the destruction of the trailer. Steven has always wondered if there was evidence inside that trailer. And another message from Kim here states, Stephen didn't have the title. Now, in the original video, it was stated that Stephen Avery had the title of that trailer, but that turns out not to be true. Stephen didn't have the title. I want to clear that up. The, tra the trailer that was damaged on the roof was the red trailer, not the blue trailer. And yes, indeed, the cars crushed were all of Barb's cars and the black blazer, including the Dodge Caravan, Teresa Halbach took a photo of. So all of that information was correct. And the last one here, right from Earl Avery. It was sent to me by X user, Twitter user, not nosy Ren, who has communication with Earl Avery. And this is what Earl Avery had to say. No, I am not in none of the groups no more. I want to move on with my life. And no, over by the yard, the DNR will not let us burn anything it's against our rules you can tell her that we dismantled that because the roof was caving in and we had to do something with it because it was a risk to the customers thank you so much earl i'll definitely make sure this info is out now that's from not nosy ren not me uh, i'll definitely make sure this info is out there but i won't say you told me unless you're okay with it i'm just done with everything we're starting to clean up the yard we're going out of business and i am retiring chuck is retiring and we are going to be done too much stress and plus, I need to take care of my dad now that my mom is gone. I checked with Not Nosy Ryan and they said that this message was okay to post. So that's directly from Earl Avery. So there are still some conflicting stories out there about this trailer. And that's very interesting. If any more news pops up about this trailer, I will definitely bring it to you. But there is still... A lot, there still could be a lot of information that comes out about this trailer, or this could be the end of it. It could have been destroyed exactly why Earl Avery said, or they could still be lying. Nobody really knows, but it is very interesting that there is now another trailer that could possibly be involved in this story. Let me know what you think. Leave some comments below. I hope you're having a good day, and I will see you again soon.